project is called The Bedfellows. It's a cover for the bed and two side curtains that will be embroidered. So the bed is up in the main bedroom. It's a scale four-poster bed that was made specifically for Tudor House. And it was thought that it was rather a shame that it had quite a drab covering. There are at least 30 people who were involved in it. Some take motives away and do them at home because some of them come from quite a way. Um, and others come in quite frequently during the week and will actually work on the frame and on the ground of the curtain, which is very large and has to be left here. I'm Rita. I've been at um, Tudor House for quite a while as a volunteer and then I got involved in the precursor to this embroidery project which was to do a pelmet for the bed upstairs which was in cruel wool and then from then we applied for funding to completely dress the bed and the project has been running for a while because unfortunately Covid uh, sabotaged it a little bit but we're not defeated we're, we've picked up again and work's been progressing quite well. My name's Alison and I've been working with Bedfellows for a year and a half. Um, I started coming um, because I wanted some interests away from just my family life um, my job and um, I've always been interested in sewing. I sewed with my auntie and my mom um, and find it quite a meditative pastime. Um, it's a community project and the intention was for people with experience or no experience, um, people all walks of life, male, female, um, any kind of background, any kind of interest to do it. So anybody can join in whenever they can which is why quite a few people will come in when the museum is open if they have time and do a small amount of stitching and meet up with others. We could just sit and sew and be regarded as someone who sewed and be given an identity and also be given some sense of achievement and it was on that basis that the money was awarded. The funding is from the Arts Council and it was arranged um, before I took over the leadership, but I was then a volunteer. Funding pays for the materials, obviously. Um, we've got a large, a huge yardage of worsted wool lining and fabric that we do the motives or the slips on, um, and all the good quality cruel wool. The materials are absolutely are contemporary. They had to be, we had to, I've had to do a huge amount of research with materials, how things were sewn, the stitches used, the designs, everything is as close as possible to what we can research and find out. When we're sewing, I'm learning about the sewing, but we also just share little snippets of our lives and um, you do get people from different backgrounds or different age ranges and it gets you to appreciate um, the challenges in people's lives, whether that challenge is your job or your childcare or um, you know health issues um, and caring roles as people get older as well um, and sort of talking to people and having a person that you can relate that to means that it just changes that experience. I think quite a few people have made friends, which is lovely, and I've met quite a few nice people that I didn't know had such wonderful skills. So we deliberately wanted to aim for something that would be in keeping and, and, and would be representative and inclusive, and that's the important word, inclusive. Mm -hmm.